Hello and a very warm welcome to World This Week by Latest Laws. This is our weekly program, so subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified. My name is Monica Rahar and let's get started by having a look at Supreme Court this week. The Apex Court refused to entertain a PIL which sought directions to the Union Ministry of Ayush to develop standard yoga protocol to help the general public enhance COVID-19 resistance power. Vodafone Idea Limited secured a Supreme Court victory in its pursuit of Rs 833 crore tax refund in some relief for the telecom operator because it was struggling to pay government dues of over 50,000 crore. The court explains the two conditions on the basis of which it can exercise powers under Article 139A of the Indian Constitution in the case of Sunil Rati and others versus the state of Haryana and others. The Supreme Court Collegium recommends appointment of permanent judges at the High Courts of Kerala, Bombay and Jharkhand. The Apex Court agreed to hear a petition seeking direction to the Centre to formulate a law mandating all e-commerce platforms such as Amazon and Flipkart to display country of origin on the products sold by them. Bishop Franco Mulakal, accused of raping a senior Kerala nun, has approached the Apex Court claiming innocence and seeking to discharge him without a trial in the matter. The court has sought a detailed response together with abusive tweets which were put against the state high court judges from senior advocate Hari Salve who is appearing for Andhra Pradesh state election commissioner. The union government has told the court that money in a public charitable fund like the PM Cares Fund could not be transferred to a statutory fund like the National Disaster Response Fund which gets budgetary allocations from the centre. The Rajasthan Assembly Speaker withdrew his plea before the Supreme Court that had challenged the Rajasthan High Court's 21st July order which directed him to defer action on the disqualification notice which it issued. Now let's proceed with the next segment of our news analysis which is the Delhi High Court. The government of Delhi submitted before the court that it does not want online registration of properties to be made available in order to curb false registrations and obviate unnecessary litigation. Noting that an accused cannot be kept in custody only because of a presumption that he would invade trial, even when the charge sheet has been filed, the court has granted bail to a former promoter of Fortis. The court has held that nurses not dealing with coronavirus patients cannot be included in the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana which provides for a 50 rupees 50 lakh insurance cover to frontline healthcare workers. The court told the BAP government that its depleting revenue could not be given as the reason to not release funds to the municipal corporation to pay their staff salaries. The court sought central government's reply on a plea challenging the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code ordinance which suspended proceedings against defaulters which arised on or after March 25 for six months in view of COVID-19 crisis. Now let's proceed with the High Court of Bombay. The Aurangabad bench of the High Court of Bombay has refused to interfere with the government resolution which was issued by the Maharashtra General Administration Department allowing the transfer of 15% of its staff. An Aurangabad bench of the Bombay High Court has upheld a trial with view that the result of the DNA test is not a conclusive piece of evidence in a rape case. Noting that the existing order restricting slaughtering gods in private premises, the court has directed the civic corporation to ensure that slaughtering takes place only in certified slaughterhouses. In a response to a PIL, the University Grant Commission has stated that decision to cancel the exams for final year students will affect the future of the students. Now let's proceed with the Madras High Court. The High Court has suggested formation of law to regulate the online gaming industry. The Court has sought response from BCI and Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry in a writ petition which sought direction to enroll law graduates in the State Council through video conferencing due to COVID-19 crisis.
Now let's proceed with the Telangana High Court. The High Court of Telangana made it clear that Twitter must respond to the notices which were being issued by it and explain as to why it had remained silent when hate mongers were using its space to spread hatred against Islam. A plea has been filed seeking a direction to permit the media to report and telecast the ongoing demolition of the secretariat as Saidabad here. in telangana now let's proceed with the karnataka high court the high court of karnataka in one of its recent judgments have observed that the fundamental right to religion under article 25 cannot be invoked to protect a temple which was illegally built on a footpath the court has made an observation that a victim under the stsc atrocities act also include parents and family members of the person who sustains injuries arising out of the crime Now let's proceed with the next segment of our news analysis which is called the miscellaneous segment Haryana Deputy Chief Minister has stated that a bill for 50% reservation of women in panchayat to be brought in the upcoming Vidhan Sabha session for increasing participation of women in village development Ex Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gogoi has been made a member of Parliament Standing Committee on External Affairs Jammu and Kashmir High Court judge Justice Geeta Mittal has approved the scheme for internship and e-internship in the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir. The Delhi cabinet is likely to take decision on the appointment of special public prosecutors for representing the government in Delhi High Court in cases which pertain to the February communal riots in Delhi. The central government spends over rupees 3 crore on advertisement to fight corona reveals an RTI. Now we have an update in the case of Sushant Singh Rajput's suicide. His family has filed FIR against actress Riya Chakraborty and five others for abetment of suicide in Bihar. Bihar police now seeks Mumbai police's assistance in investigation. Now we have the last segment of our news analysis which is called the international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Mauritius counterpart have jointly inaugurated the new Supreme Court building built in Port Louis with Indian grant assistance reflecting India's neighborhood first policy. Indian origin politician Pritam Singh appointed Singapore's first leader of opposition. in parliament mark zuckerberg zef bezos sundar pichai and tim cook are to testify before big congress hearing in its years long investigation in market domination in the industry us based advocacy group welcomes new york state assembly decision to reconsider bill for swastika indian women files lawsuit against us immigration for delay in issuing work permits that's all we have for this week thank you very much for being with us and we hope this was a productive session for all of us also the description of these news items which we refer to in this news analysis are given in the description box so you may refer to them and until we come up with our next video stay tuned take care keep sharing and keep supporting thank you